We're joined now by Cal Poly coach John Smith. Coach, if you would start off with an opening comment, we'll take questions afterwards. Yeah, you got to, you know, commend UC Santa Barbara on a job well done, especially A.J. Mitchell. Um, he's an unbelievable talent that I think will probably play <laughs> on the big screen, you know, someday. But um, I'm just proud of my guys for, you know, the resolve and the resiliency that they've shown all year, you know, going through an 18-game stretch. They never stopped fighting, and they didn't stop fighting tonight. So, you know, I'm just proud of how they represented Cal Poly all year. Uh, Patrick Figueroa, KDVS Sports. Um, first of all, um, you guys made quite a bit of noise in this tournament, um, upsetting Long Beach and then taking a r really a tight game there with uh, UC Santa Barbara. How do you want to take this tournament into next season? Like, what do you want to build on from here? Well, you know, we, we just want to continue to try and build this program with, with certain pieces. And, and yes, this helps um, the way they showed their fight. And we just got to continue to try and build it around guys that want to continue to fight because it's not easy to win in this Big West Conference. It's not easy to win a Division One game. And uh, we just got to continue to find guys that, that, that can compete and, and make plays down the stretch and, uh, and continue to go where we're trying to build it. My clan KYT. Coach, uh, this game was kind of a microcosm of your season. You know, close, you know, again, but you can't close, close it out most of the season. I know one of your players said the season was kind of hell on TV a couple of days ago because the streak. Is, is that kind of how you feel too? No, you know, I, I, from the outside and looking in, everybody, yeah, I hate losing. We all hate losing. It wasn't, it wasn't a great season, but I still just focus on my purpose and why I coach. And, and the purpose of why I coach is, is trying to build young men into men and, and, you know, through this game of basketball. We're going to get this game, thing going. We're going to get it going the right way. Um, as you could tell, our staff does an unbelievable job of preparing our guys to be in every game. We just got to find the right pieces moving forward and, and, and continue to build it. And, you know, no one will remember this season. Coach, uh, four years now, the wins have really been hard to come by. Are you surprised that you haven't been able to break through? Uh, you had some really talented players here, Stevenson and Alamami. But, you know, you haven't even gotten to double digits wins yet. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. You're right. Um, you know, I can make all the excuses in the world, but when you're building a program, um, you know, and when you take over a program, the first two years we started off with COVID, you know, those two guys really didn't get a chance to experience college basketball in preparation the right way for two years. Now you're starting to see the fruits of their labor the last two years, and they're starting to turn the corner. Ali has another year to come back. Um, Brantley, you saw how, how he's built momentum. So once again, we're just going to try and continue to build this program. And uh, I guarantee you we won't continue to be in the sing single digits in the win-loss column. Anything else? Thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time.